We're gonna talk about sling TSI fuselage, and in this video, it's going to be specific to the tail cone assembly. So what is the tail cone assembly? It's going to be the aft portion of the fuselage from the tail all the way forward uh, to this bulkhead. So basically the luggage compartment back. So tail cone assembly, uh, and we're gonna build this all in one assembly. Uh, in these videos, I know that the drawings are done in specific little uh, areas and sub-assemblies, but to better assist you guys and to make the video shorter, we're going to show you parts that are already kind of put together like this, but explain in detail the areas uh, that are important. So the tail cone assembly, uh, in this particular one, there isn't anything that we're gonna utilize from a different kit. It's basically all in the fuselage kit. And if you have avionics, uh, there's gonna be a product. This one has Garmin magnetometer that's installed in the aft section. Maybe some wiring and uh, zip tie holders uh, that we're gonna get to in the video in a minute. But other than that, nothing from a different kit. So how do we do that? We're gonna start with how the drawings state. We're going to build our bulkhead assembly, our rear bulkhead assembly, which is basically this portion here. Just like this drawing say, pretty straightforward, easy to do. And then we're gonna move into our bulkhead and ribs. So uh, there's four of these. There's one, two, three, four. Uh, and we're gonna utilize, utilize the fixture that is in the kit uh, for those. So those are pretty straightforward and easy as well. Once those two items are done, basically you're left with your uh, floor assembly, basically your floor skin with all the stringers. And then we're gonna go ahead and rivet that at that point and, and leave and omit the, the side rails because we gotta wrap the skins around that. But go ahead and rivet the, the bottom skin onto the stringers. And then at that point, we're gonna start mounting our uh, assembly there and our bulk heads onto it with our stringers. So we're gonna have kind of a, a weak structure and we're gonna put it that all together. And then once that's done, we're gonna place our side skins on just like you see it. We're gonna only uh, click with those on so that way we can uh, adjust it with our top skins later uh, as we go along. Um, so once those are on, just like you see it, uh, basically if you wanna come here for a second, uh, we're going to install everything that is hard to get to uh, and that is inside the tail cone now. Uh, basically all of your nav wires, your comm wires, your trim wires, your static line, all that's going to run through the side stringers just like you see it. And also the rudder cable assembly. As you know, there's a crisscross in there. We want to make sure that we get that done properly just like the drawing state. Uh, easy to get to now. I talked about the Garmin unit. This one's Garmin magnetometer. Uh, it's mounted now. It's a lot easier to get to than it is later with the square hole. Um, then one thing that uh, an area where people struggle is getting this in the correct position. We want to make sure where it's narrow, that it's done at the top and wider at the bottom so that way you don't have elevator tube binding. We don't want to have a binding elevator. Um, and then I also mentioned the zip tie um, brackets. Basically they're little squares uh, with adhesive backing and you just zip tie that just like that. It's not in the kit, but it really cleans everything up nice. Um, for the wiring. So once we have all that installed, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on into three sub-assemblies. And we can do the sub-assemblies much easier on the table outside the fuselage here. The first one's going to be the, the luggage box, the aft luggage box. That one can be built on a table and then riveted and then placed and clicoed inside the fuselage just like you see it. This one's actually riveted, but we'll clico it in. And then the second one would be the floor skin, uh, the rear floor skin for the luggage compartment. This one is not in it because we don't have it, but at this point you would do that. Um, so you would do the skins and the stringers. Um, don't be alarmed when your skin doesn't have all the holes in it. You're just going to have to do some match drilling. Some of the holes are omitted. And you'll have to put those in. So that is an area that people are running into where the holes are not there. Uh, and then the third thing, like this one is equipped with a um, parachute box. Um, this one, the parachute box isn't in here right now, but it has one. And we would build that outside the fuselage. Uh, on the table, it's much easier to get to. So those three sub-assemblies we want to do out of the fuselage, much easier to get. Uh, and on this one, with the equipped models, with the parachute, we want to make sure that we countersink all of the rib uh, holes where the rivets would go um, for the skin. So it's a lot easier to get to now and to do that countersinking, just like the drawing state uh, at this point. Another thing to keep in mind is when we have all of our wires, we want to make sure that we leave adequate length um, so that way we when we build our center section and our forward section that we have enough to get to the cockpit behind the panel or wherever your avionics are mounted and the same as well with the static line and all your nav antennas we want to make sure that we have that now but when you have the tail cone assembly we're going to build it all in one piece and we're going to set it off to the side 
So you're gonna have your wires and your rudder cable assembly all spooled in this area. And we'll get to that later when we join the fuselage, fuselage uh, pieces together. So and then at that point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clico on our top skins, our left and right hand uh, top skins. So basically your bottom skins and your top skins, all four uh, skins are going to be clicoed together because we want to be able to manipulate those holes and get them to wherever, the, wherever they are that they need to be because it's a lot easier to do it at this point than it is to rivet this, put your skins on, and then try to rivet this because what that's going to do is it's going to create oil canning. Uh, a lot of areas where people struggle, struggle with is these skins here and these ex, uh, sections are going to get oil canning done by riveting this first and then trying to stretch these skins over the top and we don't want that uh, to happen. So another area that people have issues with is when they do put these uh, skins on the top and it stretches over those bulkheads nice and tight is when uh, the manufacturing of these ribs occurs um, there's little ridges that are left on all these little tabs we want to make sure that we either hand file those off or use a little uh, deburring tool to get rid of those because it'll create a ripple effect in your skin and it'll create high spots in it and we want to be able to get those skins stretched nice and tight so that's another area uh, to keep in mind so once everything's clicked we're going to utilize every hole uh, a clico in every hole so that way we know that everything lines up perfectly everything is tight we don't have any oil canning whatsoever and then we're going to remove every other clico um, from the skins and then we're going to put rivets in them and when we start the riveting process we want to make sure that we start in the central location and work our way out so that we we don't draw in our material and create an oil can or bubble effect in the skin because every time we pull that rivet it pulls it so tight that it stretches that skin uh, sometimes and at that point we would have to de-rivet the whole entire uh, fuselage assembly and get rid of the bubbles so we don't want that to happen um, so another thing to keep in mind is when you're match drilling these holes if you have to and if it's needed or required we want to make sure that we don't have any metal shavings in between the stringers or the bulkheads and the skin because what that does is it creates high spots in areas and if you have enough high spots then your skin's also gonna be rippling, and we don't want that to happen as well. We wanna have that rivet up and nice and tight against the skin as much as possible, so that it'll create a nice even flow on the skins. Um, so uh, just to recap, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rivet and build this whole tail section of the Sling TSI as a whole unit itself, and we're gonna rivet it and keep it just like you see it and put it off to the side, so it's gonna be completed for the most part. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move on into our middle section and the forward section of our fuselage. So hopefully this video helps you. What we're going to do next is we're going to do the center section of the fuselage.